Hello everyone, welcome to Milky Singh Academy. This is Iskira Singh here. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you that how you can check a PDF or any answer sheet without any uh, use of a software. So as you can see here, I have checked this answer sheet, this PDF here, and I have uh, use some of the tools that are present in this software so this software name is the doc hub pdf edit and that is inbuilt with your google drive so we are going to use that so here you can see i have used a couple of tools here these circles these ticks here and crosses and i have also used this comment to uh, provide him a little bit more description about the comments and other things and the important thing is here that I have assigned the marks here 100 out of 80 and I have provided my signature with the date and you can similarly check your PDF some sim something similar to this manner so let's get started with this thing and if you are new to my account this uh, Milky Singh Academy is my YouTube channel so do subscribe to my channel I keep posting these kind of videos so that will be very helpful for you so hit the bell icon so you will get the uh, notification from my channel whenever I upload these kind of videos so first of all guys you have to open up your Google Drive because as I told you earlier this this software this doc hub PDF edit is already inbuilt with your Google Drive so first thing you have to upload your answer sheet your PDF file into this uh, into your Google Drive and uh, as you can see that I have already uploaded a file this is answer sheet 22 so I'm going to double click on it and it will be open up in the default PDF opener here now guys you have to click on this open with so click on open with and here it is our application so that is a web based application so doc hub PDF sign and edit just click on that and it will be open up this PDF into this web application so I'm going to click on this this button here and if you are signing in for the first time it will ask you some permission so click on allow so you have to give all the permissions to this web application so as I have already uploaded something so uh, previously I uploaded and checked this uh, PDF file here so I'm going to click on use existing so it will open up this here so this is the interface for our doc hub PDF edit so as, as you can see on the top of this window here there are some tools so these are the very simple tools you, uh, you don't need any need any high skills to use these uh, tools here so these are tools are self explanatory so as you can see uh, this is the arrow tool pointer tool so if I click on it it will point my arrow here and uh, this is for the add text so let me start with a very simple things that ticks and crosses so here you can see this tool is choose stamp so if you click on it you will see all the stamps here like ticks and crosses and smileys and all that so I'm going to click on this uh, click here check check button here so all you have to do is select it and uh, where you want to place it just uh, click on it with your mouse and similarly you can do with the uh, you can easily check all the PDFs in a very uh, very less time so I'm clicking on all the checks here so for example you want to cross something just click on the choose stamp and uh, choose the cross sign here and I'm going to select here wherever I want to choose that and good thing is here that you can change the size of the stamp and uh, color of that so let me uh, click on the screen color here and you can also change, change the color combination from here just click on save now all the crosses will be in green color and uh, coming to our next thing that is the rectangular or uh, circle boxes so here you can see choose tool so if you click on it you will see the following tools here for the circle I'm clicking on add rectangle and you have to draw that rectangle similar to like a paint and uh, you can circle out anything that you want and you can also change the colors of this uh, rectangular box so if I click on here and I want to choose the dark orange color so you can also choose that that will be in orange color next thing that you are frequently used in your answer sheet that is uh, your circle tool so that I similarly put a uh, marks uh, I given the marks to answer sheet so similarly you can do that so I'm going to change the color into red again so red where it is so here it is the red color so I'm going to so simply drag and, and click on save and I'm going to create a line here so creating a line click on add line so all the tools are available in these tabs here so now I want to assign the marks so all you have to do is to click on a button here add text so I'm going to add a text here you can anywhere add a text and later on you can drag here and there 
so I'm going to create uh, change the size of this font 24 so I'm writing 80 so as you can write from your keyboard here so 80 and you can also change the color so I'm going to make it red click on save and I'm going to drag it and place it here and I'm going to again click on this uh, A here and I'm going here right under so I'm going to give the marks from 80 to 100 and you can also make it bold or change the writing style of this uh, this font here so you can do a couple of things and it is very easily you can edit and so here you can see and uh, coming to our next uh, tool that is highlight so for the free version you can only highlight some text and uh, if you want to underline or cross some strike out so you have to purchase the subscription so I'm going to use this highlight here and I want to highlight this this text here so similarly you can also do that and you can change the color to yellow or something so similarly whichever text you want to highlight sim simply just drag this tool and it will highlight the text here now coming to our so you can go around and play with, the, with these all these tools here present here and if you want to undo that you click on undo and it will be it will be undo that so I'm going to redo that here and coming to our sign portion so as I in the starting of this video I told you that I have provided a signature here so just click on this sign button here so you can create your own signature here so just click on create signature or you can also upload your signatures so I'm clicking on create your signature button here and uh, here you can see draw or upload image so if you already have a digital signature you can upload that from here so I'm going to draw that signature so all you have to do is uh, just place and uh, try to uh, sign with your mouse so I'm doing the same thing here so this is my name just Kirat and click on save button and it will be added to your signature list here so I'm going to save here so as you can see signature is created so now I want to place my signature here so here there are two signatures that is uh, from the previous one that is just I have created so I'm going to select that and it will be placed here so wherever you want to place that signature just click that and uh, I want to make it bigger so you can also make it bigger so and uh, you can also drag here and there this signature here and for the timestamp I'm going to click on A here and uh, I'm going to create a time so date so date will be our today is 16th of October 2020 so and I'm going to place it here and you can also make it smaller or bigger so just select the font size here 12 so it is very easy to use so you don't need to any other application or any extension for that once you have checked your all your answer sheet so you can see I have three pages here so let me fast forward that and uh, quickly check all these uh, check boxes here so I'm going to just randomly select ticks here and uh, I'm going to uh, place a circle here so this is a wrong one this one is that and you can also put a comment here so to put the comment you have to click on this uh, choose tool here and there is a arrow button here and you can drag that and put the description here and just click on A button here and I'm going to write some text here in some let me make the size bigger here so I'm going to write here uh, use uh, this word only so you can play with these, these things here so you can drag here and there and make it smaller or bigger so that is much bigger here 30 is, uh, is a perfect size here and I'm going to center that so this is how you can use and at last so do download this copy of this answer sheet so I'm going to click on this download button here so here you can see download or export so I'm going to download it and it, it is going to ask me where you want to download so you can directly submit it to classroom Dropbox OneDrive G Drive so I'm going to save it in my computer so I'm going to click on download and it is going to download this file into my computer here and later on you can forward it to the students wherever uh, by which any means like uh, whatsapp or any uh, thing you, that you are uh, using so once it's downloaded it will be appearing here so I'm going to change the name of this because I have already created a answer sheet file so I'm going to open it with the uh, Adobe Reader here so here you can see guys I have already shown you the science so similarly you can also check a answer sheet 
so it hardly took you five to four minutes to check a answer sheet or a PDF so that is all guys for this how to check a answer sheet so do subscribe to my channel if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to comment if you like this uh, inbuilt uh, software that is doc hub pdf edit so that is all guys see you soon thanks a lot for watching this video